Hello, Campus Church. Uh, we're looking forward to another week in our Bible study that we're going through, our home Bible study called Select Stanzas from Psalm 119. And this morning we're going to have our third lesson, and it is entitled Teth. Uh, we're calling it Teach Me Good Judgment. And it's uh, found in verses 65 through 72. And it all starts with the ninth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Here we have some very interesting thoughts here. We're, talking, we're asking God to teach me good judgment. And we find that in our theme verse in verse number 66. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Many, many of us go through life every day, we're dealing with things that require good judgment. It's not just judgment to know the right decisions, but it's also the discernment that we're seeking to know when to make those right judgments, to know when to use the wisdom that he gives us at the appropriate time. But we look at this, this passage, and it's a wonderful passage that starts out with a verse in 65 that says this. Thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according unto thy word. I think all of us would admit that we have all been dealt with very, very graciously by the Lord. He has loved us uh, when we were very unlovable. He has provided all of our needs, even when we didn't know we had those needs or we didn't ask for him. He's been faithful to us when we have been unfaithful to him. And we can certainly testify that the Lord has dealt very well with us, his servants. And so we're so thankful for that. And then again, we have our text verse, teach me good judgment. I think as a result of us knowing uh, what God's word is, what his judgments are, the more we find uh, ourselves in his word, the more we're able to have good judgment. We're able to have discernment uh, with the judgments that we have to make. And then a verse I'm very excited about was down in verse number 68. Talk about God and his goodness. Thou art good and doest good. For my family and I, uh, even recently, we've been dealing with some things that don't, don't always make sense to us. We don't fully understand all that is regarding these circumstances. But one thing we've been excited to be able to do is to go back to Scripture, the Scripture that is founded before the world were even here, the Scripture that is settled forever, and know for sure that what God says in His Word is true. And here in His Word, it says again, Thou art good and doest good. Even when I don't have to understand all that's taking place, it may not make sense to me, I am thankful that there is a good God that I get to serve, and because He's good, everything He does, everything He says is also going to be good. It's brought great comfort for my family. It's brought great comfort when we're not sure what's going on, we don't have all the answers, but we know God does. And as we look at this passage, we're very excited about all the things pointing back to God's good nature, His good judgment, His good word, and the fact that He can give us that judgment and discernment as we go through life's daily journey with Him. So as you, uh, our Campus Church family, as you study this passage today, I want to encourage you to be excited about what God's showing you. Be excited about searching scriptures to find exactly the judgments that God wants you to have and the discernment about when to make those decisions. Have a great time studying His Word, and God bless.